A resurgent wave of philanthropy. More money was donated to charity last year than before the Great Recession, partly fueled by philanthropy 3.0 charitable giving campaigns powered by social networks, like the Ice Bucket Challenge. That went viral and raised close to $100 million for ALS research. But even in New Jersey, still lagging behind in recovering from the recession, Lauren Wonka reports people are giving to help those still chasing the dream. Americans are digging deep into their pockets and donating billions to charity. Unfortunately, so many government programs are being cut back, and it's really up to the rest of us to step up and, and help out. Turns out nationwide, people are helping out. Americans gave an estimated $358.38 billion to charity last year, up 7.1 percent in current dollars, according to this year's Giving USA annual report on philanthropy for the year 2014. It's the highest total in the report's 60-year history. Our private uh, fundraising is up about 14 percent over last fiscal year. At the Food Bank of Monmouth and Ocean Counties, Executive Director Carlos Rodriguez is grateful for the donations. He says that's just financial support. It doesn't include the food dropped off. Still, their food distribution is up 58 percent over the last two years, so they're counting every penny. Every dollar provided to the food bank helps support three meals. In Belmar, volunteers at the Center Square Thrift Store are counting on people's generosity, too. They're celebrating the store's grand opening. The doors officially open to shoppers Friday night. It's part of Center House in Asbury Park, a nonprofit that provides permanent supportive housing for single adults living with HIV or AIDS, along with other resources to those in the community. We're always looking for new ways to fund our mission. And then we also have an issue with funding being cut from both the federal government and the local government. So, you know, we really need to find and focus on new ways to bring in funds. A lot of people feel as if they need to give back to, they may have had a loved one who passed away of AIDS or is sick with HIV and they're doing their part. All of the items here are donated either by individuals or business owners. The center hopes to eventually expand so they can offer furniture too. Meantime, their goal is to turn over items as quickly as possible so they can constantly keep new merchandise on the shelves. That's something I'm gonna help with today. What do I owe you for these? Donations have been coming in on a daily basis. We just rely totally on the volunteer, the generosity, the commitment and dedication of the people in the community. With a store full of merchandise, the center's team is banking on generous people to keep their shelves stocked and money in the register. In Belmar, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.